Margaret, Brandy, and from the uh, owner of Funny Face Bakery, Sarah Silverman. Great to see you, Sarah Silverman. Sarah, are you a big, uh, are you a big Housewives fan? Huge. This is the best day of my life. Wow. <laughs> are you? Where is your bar bakery located? It's in the East Village on 7th Street. So do you do custom cookies if someone brought in photos? Yeah, Or do you that's... just know the Housewives faces so well that you... So well. Um, I've always wanted to make the Housewives. The closest I got to the Housewives, we made one for, um, for Cameron from Southern Charm once. But I never got to make the Housewives, so I'm wow. so excited. I have a feeling if you sold Housewives cookies, you could make a shit ton of money. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. I mean, Bravo might send you a cease and desist, yeah. but I don't know. Um, <laughs> Vicky uh, Lou Felius wants to know, why do you keep saying this is your show? It's disrespectful to the other women uh, on the cast. Were they in my family room 15 years ago with Scott Dunlap, the creator, figuring out how we're going to make a hit show? So, yeah. sorry, it is my show. <laughs> okay, let's go to Nellie from D.C. Hey, Nellie, what's your question? Oh my God, you guys all look so great. Andy, I love you so Thank much. You. Brandy, I'm married to a ginger, so it's a <laughs> here. But my, oh, I'm gonna be in New York on the 23rd, so I'll hit up that bakery in the East Village. Too. Oh, excellent. But my question is from Margaret. How often are you and Joe having sex? Oh, um, well, Joe likes to do it a lot, but I mean, I can't do it after, we do it, quite a few times a week, I'm going to be honest, but it has to be in the morning or the afternoon, because after dinner, I'm too full and I don't like to be squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> so we're like, always You're like Ben, I can't squeeze him when he's so, full. Yes, <laughs> don't squeeze me when I'm full. It's yes. not, it, I just it's don't so like funny. it. So we have sex a lot, because we don't have little kids at home, and, you know, it's very easy. We both work for ourselves, so we can do it whenever we want. There you go. All right. Let's go to Chris from Minneapolis. Hey, Chris, what's your question? Hi, my question is for Vicky. Okay. You look incredible, Yay. and you were always a full-time housewife, in my opinion, Aww. this season. Thank you. Always. Thank you. But in your opinion, do you think Kelly and Rick are going to sign a prenup? Well, they already said um, on one of the um, outlets that they would. So I think he has more assets than her, so I, I don't know, but I got to imagine. All right, let's go to Allison from Philly. Hey, Allison, what's your question? Hi, my question is for all three of the housewives. I wanted to know who they would switch out from their city for a housewife from one of the other two cities. Okay, so you can switch out someone on your cast and get someone else. You're going to switch out, I'm assuming, Bronwyn? Bronwyn. Brown okay. Wynn. Okay, and who would you bring in from a whole other city, oh, any city? You know what? Um, well, why wouldn't I pick one of these two lovelies right here? Uh -huh. um, Margaret, let's come on. All right, all right. I could, okay. I'm blonde. Margaret, okay, it. let's not pick anyone else here because okay. that's boring. Um, uh, let me think. Um, you know what? I like uh, Kyle. I would bring Kyle over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Margaret? You know, the truth is we're such a good spicy cast. I don't really want to unload anybody from my cast. Yeah, so you... I just want to say that, everybody. Yes, just, okay. But if I had to switch out somebody, oy, it's tough because I think we're just so amazing. Well, can I add somebody? Yeah, add somebody. Can I just add somebody from somewhere else? i take Dorinda. Okay. I would take Dorinda. Yeah. yeah. Dorinda, I think, would be great on Jersey. She would be Brandy, great what on about Jersey. You? I would switch out Cameron okay. for, <laughs> for Nini. Okay. Yeah. I love it. That would be fun. That's yes. a good answer. Let's go to Jessica from Minnesota. Hey, Jessica, what's your question? Um, I was just wondering how Marge deals with Marge here without drinking. How do you deal with Marge Sr. without drinking? <laughs> I mean, I've lived with Marge Sr. my whole life, 52 freaking years. Yeah. Um, you know, Marge Sr. drinks, so I could just deal with her. I, you know, Marge Sr. is a great mother. She's a great grandmother. Listen, she's a handful. I just scream in her fucking face. Right. <laughs> do, you, you know, uh, so do you not drink because Marge Sr. was such a partier when you were growing up? That's part of it, yes. You know, it is true. Marge Sr. was a very, very big partier growing up, and I think drunk women are extremely sloppy, and I don't like it. And right. that's You're one right. of the big reasons right. I don't drink. And the second thing is when I attempted to drink, I have horrible migraines, so I can't even drink. Right. So, you know, double whammy. Okay, last call of the night. Chance from Texas. Say, Chance, what's your question? 
Oh my God! Okay, hey, I want to ask any one of y'all, um, what is your 2020 New Year's resolution? Oh, well, I would love to hear a resolution from each of you. Great way to end it out. Uh, I know exactly what it's going to be. Okay. Um, have more quality time with Steve because okay. I don't right now. All right. Okay, Margaret. You know, I think just. Um, Help to do more good things in the world. I've done a lot of, I've been very lucky to do a lot of philanthropic things this year, but even do more next year because we're in shitty times. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Brandy? Just say no to french fries. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, everyone has a personal relationship to their resolution. I want to thank Vicki, Margaret, and Brandy, and Sarah. For more, click around bravotv.com, everybody. Check out Funny Face Bakery in the East Village. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.